we're gonna need to uh, vacate the premises. Oh god, jeez, fart. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Streets of Rogue. Kind of a play on Streets of Rage, I would assume. Uh, let's check out our home base. You can also play online with up to four players, but we ain't gonna do that today. We're just gonna play around with just the Dayton does. I got a couple of classes unlocked, which is uh, pretty interesting. You can play as a variety of different classes. Over here is like the Possessor guy, and he's little and tiny and weak, but um, he also is able to uh, take control of other characters, which is pretty damn cool. There are a lot of cool classes in this game, and uh, many, many different ways to play, which is what initially attracted me to this game. So uh, we've got some mutators over here, the tutorial. Mutators can basically be used to um, change the game in some way. Disasters every level, everyone hates you, faster gameplay, low health for everyone, no guns allowed. All pretty, pretty cool. Um, but I don't want to turn on any mutators because uh, we're trying to get the, the vanilla feel of the game, as it were. However, I will buy some traits. These can be used whenever you level up or... Uh, picked whenever you level up, rather. So, um, let's see what we got. Hmm, tank-like. We got low-cost jobs. I'll take that. I like to, uh, build up a, a big team if I'm able to. Long lunge. Lunge a longer distance with melee weapons. Medical professional. Studious. Oh, extra ex XP is always good. It's pretty expensive, but I will take it. Team building expert. Yes, let's take that as well. Tank-like. I mean, these are all cheap. I can grab all these. Class Solidarity. Longer status effects. Mm, I will take both of these since that uh, will spend all of the chicken nuggets that I have at the moment. Uh, and that's the currency in this game. Chicken nuggets. Why not? There's some rewards here. Basically, the rewards will just appear when you uh, end up completing a mission, which is pretty cool. There are some nice rewards in there. Window Cutter being one of my favorites which is uh, specific to the Thief class initially, but we'll need to save up some more chicken nuggets in order to do that. And then we got the, uh, the loadout here, free item voucher, knife, axe, shotgun, all pretty sweet. But uh, I gotta go get some nugs, brah. But before we start the level, I gotta pick my class. So we've got the Slum Dweller, who's basically the Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Um, there's the soldier who starts out with grenades and machine guns and a door uh, exploder and some landmines and shit. He's actually pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, you got the Crip, which is basically a Crip uh, gang member. Starts out with a knife, a pistol, a friend phone, and a boombox. Boombox is used to distract people. Friend phone can be used to recruit some followers. You got the burglar, or the thief, rather. Uh, he starts with a crowbar, which can be used for prying open doors. Lockpick, picking open doors. Safe Buster can bust open safes, obviously. Window Cutter can cut open windows. Cardboard Box to hide from your enemies. And then the Wall Bypasser to uh, basically warp through walls. Got the Hacker here. Um, starts out with basically hacking tools. So he can hack computers through walls. Actually pretty useful, but um, I'm not too partial to it, if I'm quite honest. Because computers, um, they do play a big part in this game, but generally you can find another way around it. The Doctor, pretty cool, he's got a Trank Gun first aid kit, and an Ear Warp Whistle, and he also has a special ability to uh, chloroform people if you use your left trigger. Uh, the Gorilla can't talk to anybody, but he is strong as shit. Can't use project projectile weapons, but he heals uh, a little bit more from bananas, <laughs> which is pretty nice. And then uh, scientists will always attack him on sight, but you do get more experience from killing the scientists. So Gorilla is pretty nice if you want to try a melee character. Shapeshifter, that's the possessor guy I pointed out earlier. Um, he is naked, so if you walk around without a body possessed, then uh, cops will chase you down. But um, it's not too hard to jump into a body. Just walk up next to it, press the left click, boom, you're in. And then you get all their special skills and all of their items as well. So really one of my favorites. Um, I've gotten the furthest with the shapeshifter. And then finally you've got the werewolf, um, basically you can transform into a werewolf for 15 seconds and then you get uh, paralyzed and dizzy afterwards, but um, yeah, you're really strong when you're a werewolf, which is pretty nice. I think for this run through I'm going to be the shapeshifter because then we can kind of be all the classes at the same time, if that makes any sense. 
And then as it's generating the floor, it'll give you some uh, little pro tips. Hey, you can hide behind tall objects. Yeah, really? And then uh, we want to search these trash cans, get some money, um, items, food to recover health is extremely important. Um, there are no cops on this first level, fortunately, so we can just kind of run around, do whatever we want. And my little dude has a mohawk. You can customize your character a little bit, which I think is pretty sweet. But uh, at the moment, we're just a dude with a mohawk. I'm going to possess the, this thief. Boom. There we go. So we got uh, Slippery Target, Suspicious, and Honor Among Thieves. So Honor Among Thieves will let me buy uh, thief items cheaper, but then uh, Suspicious won't let me into any shops. So I can't go into legitimate shops. Like, let's demonstrate on this one up here. And they're like, hey, get out of here. And I'm like, oh, come on, guy. I just want to buy some new stuff. Well, it ain't gonna work like that. So let's knock on this door, see if anybody's gonna come. Hello? Greetings. Get out of here. I won't. And then you just uh, mash some people up. And nobody saw that except that chick, but she's not gonna say anything. So our first mission is to uh, operate these buttons. So I'll go around and smack all of them. Boom, mission complete. Got a cardboard box, so I can use that to hide. Quite nice. And then you've uh, got some experience, level of experience, which is uh, pretty important as well. I think I can steal something from this other thief. Yeah, so I still get the, uh, the theft ability of the thief, which is really nice. One of the reasons that I like the shapeshifter more than uh, basically anything else is just the ability to steal. I steal what I want. I takes what I want. There we go. A little bit of free money. Oh, 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 I got caught. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm leaving. Not really. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god. I got caught again. I'm not a very slippery thief. I'm not very good at this. I could use a, a, hard, a cardboard box and hide in it. But I don't think I'm going to do that quite yet. It doesn't seem like there's any, uh, any door here. Did I miss it? Yeah, I did. No, don't assist me. Just give me your money. Just give me your money. Are you coming for me, bro? You are, aren't you? Alright, have it your way. Fucking punk. You start that shit, but I end that shit. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, we're pretty low on health. But once this body expires, I can possess another one, so I'm not too worried about that. We've got a fellow to neutralize over there. So, uh, hey, hey, fella. Oh, lured the wrong one. Oh, no. Now I'm out. So I gotta find uh, another body to possess. There we go. Potential to not suck, jack of extra trades, super studious, so... Slum Dwellers, um, Jack of all trades, obviously. Gonna get a little bit of extra XP. And there's a, a dude. You caught me. How did they know I'm the same guy? Because I had the same red eyes. Alright, that's fine. You're gonna get neutralized. And I got a free item voucher. Now I've completed all my quests. And I've leveled up, actually, so, uh... That's quite nice. I can go to the next elevator, go to the next level. And I could buy a mystery item as well. What do we have? Not much. Not much. A mystery syringe. I do love those mystery syringes. Let's buy a mystery item. Ooh, we got the hypnotizer. Use this on someone to make them align with you because everybody needs somebody to lean on. Alright. That can be pretty useful. Especially, uh, it's quite fitting for the shapeshifter, I do think. So, uh, I can't get very far in this game. I've done okay, uh, from time to time, but, um, it is a very difficult game. And there, I teleport, I've got my full health, and I leave my, uh, shell of a body behind. Goodbye, lady. GPS. All map markers are filled at the beginning of the level. Do more damage with bare fists. I think I have a lot of, uh, bare-fisted stuff going on. Since a lot of the people I don't I possess don't have any weapons, I think that's uh, going to be a good one to pick. GPS, it's not so useful, um, basically because the the map markers are not that hard to uh, get a hold of. Oops, I meant to possess that guy. I should not have done this. 
I'm so sorry. And yeah, he tethers back to his uh, his original spot, which is pretty nice. Oh boy, here comes the Poe. Welcome to Poe, man. All right, I'm just gonna jump into this body. Why not? So I'm supposed to neutralize this fella over here. I will do so. He got jacked up. And now I got the Ghost Jibber, which basically is used for, uh, when you go into a grave graveyard, you can tear down the graves. Sometimes the ghosts will come out of the graves, and the only way to, uh, stop them from attacking you is to use the Ghost Jibber. And that's, uh, I believe how I unlocked the werewolf as well. Oh boy. This fella. Let me tell you something. Not okay. Not cool. Now this body's almost junk. I got a first aid kit, but I don't think I'll be using that. I also got a sword, which is in pretty good condition. So, uh, quests, obviously you don't have to beat up uh, the opponent and stuff. If they will talk to you, then you can barter with them for the item. If it's like, get item. If it's neutralized, then you basically have to, uh, have to screw those dudes up. But let's go in here and try and retrieve the item by bartering, uh, we'll bribe with an item. Yeah, you can take the Ghost Shiver. And we got 30 gold for that quest being completed, which is, uh, not great, definitely. But, uh, I don't plan to break any graves or anything. I'm not specifically trying to unlock any characters, but they do tell you, um, what it requires to unlock characters, which I definitely appreciate in this game. And we've got the cell o -matic here. I could sell some stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, there's lots of people with guns in here. It's not going to be good. This could get pretty ugly. Well, maybe I could uh, possess a police officer. I'm a police officer. Hmm. I'd like to buy a lockpick or something like that. Perhaps there's a shop somewhere. Would they talk to me at the shop? Hmm. Ignore crimes on this level. That could be pretty useful. Then I uh, would be able to possess a new body relatively easy. I didn't mean to really stab you. I kind of wanted her to uh, hit me so I could get out of this body. This shitty body. I'm about to level up anyways. But I don't think the, uh, the level up will give me health back for this body. Oh boy. Hey everybody. Oh, he shot the cop. Now they're in a fight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's my level. And no, it didn't recover my body. Um, my body's health. But that's okay. Let's try this, uh, this syringe. Poisoned. Well, okay. That's how that goes, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. If I could be sneaky and uh, find a cop, I could become a cop. That would be pretty fun. Hmm, what else is there around here? There's the police. The Poe. They coming for Mo. Alright, so now I'm uh, a blood instead of a crepe. <laughs> so they should want to fight me as soon as I walk in here. Oh, but I already killed them. Alright, no problem. Oh boy. Now I need to, uh... Kill these fellas to get to the uh, the safe. So as I said, just take another body. Oh boy, that's not good. Some stuff is happening. Cops gonna try and chase me down. All right, good. Leave me be. I'm just trying to have some funsies. Can't you see? Obviously, this quest is a little harder than the last, but uh, I believe in us. Ugh. Got the keys. Killed the dudes. I can open all the locked doors. Unlock the safe. Very nice. Quest complete. A tooth. We got a tooth. And a boombox as a reward. Wonderful. So, uh, I'm gonna ditch this body. It's not really worth it to go try and find a new one. But there we go. Floor 1 2 complete. Studious, gain extra XP. That sounds pretty good to me. I 
attack's more likely to do critical damage. That's pretty good too, but I think the XP is what's most, most important. So there's going to be a, a panic event on this floor. Always on the last floor of the levels, they give you uh, some sort of craziness. Zombie attack, killer robot, radiation bursts, killer robot. So uh, there's going to be a, a giant robot shooting rockets at me in a relatively short amount of time. You can see him on the map as well. Um, so I'll try and do my best to avoid him. But uh, yeah, I also need to avoid the cops at the same time. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Yup. There we go. Now I'm a thief again. The robot will still recognize me though. Mmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bribe this bouncer with some beer. Because if you go in here without uh, something to offer him, he's gonna be really mad. The robot is slowly making his way over here. I open the locked doors. Hopefully, uh... The gorilla can help me kill some scientists. Yeah! And I get a hard hat as a reward. But I think the robot is almost outside, so... We're gonna need to, uh, vacate the premises. Oh, God! Jeez, fart! Is he killable? I'm not sure if he's killable. Well, I'm just gonna stay away from him for now. That's how that's gonna work. And, uh operate some buttons over here. I don't think I have anything to stick in this filtration system. Oh, cigarettes. Okay. Let's pollute the air with cigarettes. How's that? Yeah. They got a, a little bit poisoned and then they vacated the building, so I'll wait for that to turn off. And then I'll run around in here, operate all the buttons. Hooray! Ammo stealer. Floor is cleared. Go ahead and open the locked doors, see if this gorilla will uh, do some stuff for us. Oh boy. It's not gonna happen. I gotta go. See you later. Killer robot is just down the road there. Avoid the killer robot. At least he's super slow. That is uh, the one nice thing about the robot. If it's like Riot or Zombies, then there are people trying to kill you absolutely everywhere. But if you're just uh, trying to avoid one robot, that, that's not so bad. Could be worse. Let's buy a mystery item. Got a safe buster. Oh, and there's a fridge here as well. So I get some food. Some fud. Delicious fud. Alright. So that's that level. Bye, burglar. Thank you for letting me borrow your body. I appreciate it so, so much. <laughs> this game is really, really cool. Um, obviously, I love the pixel art style, you know. A game doesn't have to be overcomplicated. This is just, uh, just right. I can tell what stuff is, and that's all it needs to be. So, I can get hit by those minecarts. Uh, is something that I discovered last time I was on this level. I didn't like that none too much. Ooh, and now I'm, uh, this, this axe-wielding barbarian fellow. So I need to retrieve an item over there. Hmm. I could try and knock a dude through the walls. That seems to work relatively nicely. But, uh... Yeah. Let's, let's do it the straightforward way. Just avoid the flames and all the traps, and everything's gonna be just great. Saw blade in the floor. This is normal. Everything's normal. Oh boy dead. It's alright. I'm able to finish that fella off. And, uh, retrieve item. I probably need a new body in order to do so. But I did level up, so, uh, my little creep has full health. I just need to avoid the cops. I'd really like that cop's gun if I'm able to get it. But she might see me, too. Maybe the... The construction worker. Yeah, he has a hard hat and stuff. That's gonna be pretty good. Sweet. I've gotten a new uh, axe from him as well, I believe. So let's open this up. I think that uh, radiator thing is about to explode. Attempt to disarm the detonator. Mm, maybe we have something that we can throw at it? Would that work? Yeah, probably this... Uh, what you call them? Rocks. Uh, 
I hit myself with the rock. That's not good. Alright, disarm it. Do it. Alright, it happens. Everything happened as it was supposed to happen. So let's get this, uh... This giant axe. Nobody's just gonna see that shit coming. Oh, actually I do need the rock because I'm going to, uh, throw it through this... What do you call it? This laser. Oh god. She broke the laser. Well, I guess that'll work. Oh, and there's a turret. A turret over there trying to get me. There, I destroyed the camera so now the turret can't get me. Four fucking gold from this chest. That is sad. That is just sad. One of the nice things about stealing bodies is, uh, you get to keep their stuff. Even if everything goes terribly, at least I got some free stuff. Alright, so I need to go over to the right there to complete this other quest. Do do do, don't mind me. I'm just a construction man. Retrieve item. So it looks like it's in the safe. We did get some safe busters, so that should be fine. Um... Go ahead and drink some whiskey, get my health back up so I don't lose this body in the middle of uh, everything that's happening. And then I'll wait for this camera to turn and I can uh, destroy it post haste. But I think it will alert everybody in the building anyways. But it will help me to not get shot by the turret. So that's, that's the main goal. Alright, avoid the fire. Piece of cake. At least when you're not in combat. If you're in combat, things become uh, significantly more difficult. Oh, sweet. Keys and everything? You guys just got burned up by the fire? Oh, I do appreciate that. Easy quest. Easy day. We got a door detonator. Floor has been cleared. Wondrous well. So let's get out of here. Try not to get hit by fire. Or saw blades, or any of the other nasties. Alright. Relatively easy level. But I think the quests do uh, get just a little bit harder as you progress. What is this thing? Oh, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's okay. Not my body. I don't care. I don't need to worry about that. Ooh, avoid the minecarts. I think they do like 30 damage or something crazy like that. That's alright. I don't need I don't need the body anymore. I'm going to the next level. Huzzah! Ah, so what do we want for a trait? Team building experts not really useful because as a possessor, I don't think people will talk to you. Fast melee or tank like, both of those are really delicious sounding. I guess we'll take fast melee. Tank-like would be helpful because, uh, as a little shit, I get pushed around a lot. But, yeah, usually I'm in a body, and hopefully the body that I'll get has tank-like, which uh, I think most of those construction workers do. I haven't been paying much attention to the traits, to be quite honest. Mm, mystery item? Mmm. Could we clone an item? We could. Clone the safe buster or the door detonator? The free item voucher? That's sweet. Hella sweet, bruh! Then I've got my hacking tool. Mmm, I'll think about it. I'll just think about this for now. So there's a safe in there. It's not gonna be easy to get to. Oh, 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 oh. Please leave me alone. They just wanna chase me down because I'm naked. It's not very fair. I'm just a- I'm just a person, dude. Let's possess this guy. Oh, crap. Fart. And it can be over that quickly. <sighs> it's rough. It's rough. But, Streets of Rogue, definitely an awesome game. Um, I will bring it back on the channel. I just want to practice up a little more because right now I'm stuck in the second level. There are five levels to get through, uh, which means 15 stages. If uh, each level has three stages to it, I think that's... That's the terminology I want to use. But yeah, great, great game. Definitely um, climbing to the top of my Steam library. Not quite there. Uh, I put in probably three hours so far, but it sucked me in nicely, you know? 
And uh, if it looks like something you would enjoy, I'd highly suggest going to check it out. There's a link in the description. It is on Steam, and it is absolutely wonderful. So, friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. We also have Twitter, Patreon, Discord links down in the description. If you'd like to support me on any of those, that would be highly, highly appreciated. This has been Streets of Rogues, Streets of Rogue, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time, friends. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.